Yes. It's a little calmer now. Good morning, good morning, good morning from the British Virgin Islands. This is Diane Hare again on the grounds of the Queen Elizabeth II Park. And this is going to be the area where we gather uh, as a territory this Sunday, the 20th of May at 3 p.m. for a day of repentance. Now, this is a time when we will cry out to the Lord and ask him to have mercy on us as individuals and even as a nation. So today I am here with a very special lady and you know she will speak from her heart today you know where she really believes that the Lord is leading us or what he's calling on us to do today. Now I'm speaking about none other than Sister Joycelyn Hoyt. So good morning, good morning. Sister Hoyt. Good morning, Sister Dan. It's so good to be out of my normal habitat and come to right Great. on these grounds where we are going to be having our service this Sunday. It's a day of repentance and it's a wonderful privilege for all of God's people to come out together and come and repent before the Lord. And you know repentance is not about an event. Repentance is a lifestyle. But it has to start someplace. It must begin someplace. It actually begins when we acknowledge that we are we are in the presence of a holy God. Amen. And God's standards are not like our country's standards. God's standards are holy. He's a holy God. His standard doesn't change. And BVI and even for the rest of the world, God is calling us to holiness. That's his character. That's his nature. It's not going to adjust because we are in the 21st century. So Tortola, our 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 politicians. God is calling us. We are grateful for the woman of God, a politician who believes in righteousness, who acknowledges that this country is nothing without the hand of God. And she has stepped out, out of her place of what I would say comfort because that's not possibly ordinary. A politician wants to be so outspoken about God. But we need righteous leaders. The word of God says that righteousness is what exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. And so Tortola, come out of your places of hiding because it's not well with us and God has called us and summons us it's an urgent call that we must all assemble it's not about denomination it's not about political affiliation it's about coming to that place where we acknowledge that listen God is our solution God is our only answer you know when God was talking to Moses in the burning bush you know God waited until Moses realized something extraordinarily was happening and when God understood or when he saw that he had Moses' attention, he spoke to Moses then. And so God was say, saying to us, BBI, listen, I allowed all these different things you have seen. What have we seen? Come on, think about the things we have seen. In many years, we have never seen them. Listen, we have seen storms, you see unusual floods, never had an August festival. When have we ever heard that happening? Unprecedented hurricanes mm -hmm. uh, within a space of two weeks. We have seen our, ter our tourism is under threat. Our economic position is under threat. Our pillars are most falling. What are we saying? God is trying to get our attention, BVI. And he's saying, listen, I need you to place me first in your life. You know, one of the things the Lord was speaking in my spirit, he was saying, I want my people to seek after me. Don't seek for a solution in what may change economically, but seek me first. His righteousness, his holiness, that is what we must seek first. We must seek the Lord first. And so I'm calling, inviting everyone to come. This is a day of repentance. This is a special day. And it's a privilege that we can call this a day of repentance. Come on, if we say we are a Christian nation, shouldn't we then acknowledge the Christian God? Should we be ashamed to be affiliated with this? Oh, come on, Tartola was not always as prosperous as we are right now. Now, our men used to go to Santa Domingo and other places to look work but God heard the prayers of women who stayed in their homes and prayed for their husbands we even lost the lives of some of our men to the sea but God was merciful that our men didn't have to be exported again to seek for employment God blessed this nation because there were people who believed in a God who was faithful to his people I still believe that God is faithful to a people and God is a God who will preserve his people even when we look in scripture and we see how God allowed situations and judgment to come upon his people. We also see that God provided a place of security. When Israel was faced with, with um, the plagues in Egypt, God placed them in Goshen and God placed an anointing and a covering over them. By now, no, it was like the symbol of the blood.
blood of the lamb but you know it was really a foretesting or a, actually a forecasting foretelling of what the covering of the blood of Jesus Christ will do for us and so now we have access to the blood of Jesus Christ Tortola we need the blood every household needs the Hallelujah. blood Hallelujah need the blood of yes. Jesus. We can't continue to be just religious. God wants relationship with his people. He wants us to know him for who he is. And so I'm calling upon all of us to come out. Come out on Sunday at, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If we go beyond the scheduled time, it's fine. But it's time for us as a people to come together and say, Lord, I need you. This country needs you. We have no other help. God is our only solution. Whatever else may come after, we must place God in his rightful position he must be lord of all or not lord at all he doesn't want to just be spoken about with our mouth but our heart is saying a different beat our spirit must be for the lord he must become our priority he must be the only god that we adore he must be the lord of all and so i'm encouraging you my brothers my sisters pastors come tell our churches shut down their doors and come let's go it's not about what denomination we are in it's about us being a holy people separated unto the Lord our God. Let us come. This will look good. As my sister Diane said, this will look good on our resume that when the people turn to God, God answered them. Because this is what God did for Israel. God in Amos chapter 4, God said to Israel, listen, I send you pestilence. Your men died um, in, in, in the battles. Their, their, their bodies were stenched on the earth. I did so much things for you, is to you Israel, and yet still you did not return to me. That's a key thing. He said, but in Amos 4, 12, prepare to meet your God. I am a afraid of what that can mean for us uh, if we don't turn to the Lord. Oh my so I'm God. calling you to come now and let us repent. Let us turn around our lives. Turn away from the evil you said to our is a paradise. Oh, it's nature's little secret. I'll tell you there are many secrets here that we don't want God to expose. And so I'm saying let's come to that place where God will have mercy upon us and God will pardon us because that is what we need right now. So I'm challenging everyone under the sound of my voice who will watch this video time and time again listen to what the Lord of God I'm watching the hills and the Lord is saying your help is beyond those hills and like David today that's what we are saying on Sunday we are coming because God our help is beyond the hills to you God who made the mountains and you establish them by a decree they don't move I'm saying that nothing will no one can alter the word that has come out of the mouth of the Lord God and so I'm asking us today to come out to be encouraged to know that what we have committed to the Lord God is faithful to keep Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So we Amen. need it. We need that they have repented. You may not be in the BVI wherever you might be, but nations on a whole need to repent. We just don't want to just say we are Christian, but we are not acknowledging the Lord. So come on Sunday BVI. This is our day to tell Jesus, to tell Jesus, Jesus, you be Lord. We want Jesus to be Lord of the BVI. We're we, we going to declare it. We are going to declare it. This is just the beginning. Sunday is just the beginning, but we want to continue to herald the message because the church is the salt of the earth and the light of the earth. And we are the troublesome people's spirits. They might not want to hear us, but God is dependent on us who are called by his name to speak the world boldly, to be courageous. We don't need the titles, you know. We have the message. When you got a message in your heart like Jerry Jeremiah, you just don't silent the message. You may imprison us, but you can't imprison Hallelujah. the message spirit of God Thank you, has Lord. placed inside of us. And that's the message we want to convey. Tortola BVI, everything is not well. Everything is not as it appears. Let us not fool ourselves. But God is sending and has raised up a people and raised up those who are willing to do what God has called them to do. And so Sunday begins at 3 o'clock. Come out here right in these grounds that God has blessed us. If you notice, he preserved this area out of the storm. The buildings are still in place. And so we are coming right back here, right in front of the ocean. We can get a good look at the capital and we are going to come here and declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ and bow our hearts and our heads before the Lord and say, Jesus Christ, we need you. Father, we need you. There's no other one that we can turn to but you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much, Sister Hoyt. Thank you so Amen. much. Thank you so much. No, you heard it, uh, BVA. You heard it. No, um, if anyone who is seeing this is planning just to pass through the BVI on Sunday. Please come on over. Come on over to the park, to the Queen Elizabeth II Park, right across from Government House. And 
join us be a part of what we're doing in this hour because the lord is depending on us who are called by his name to lead this charge all right we will be gathered here for a time of repentance a day of repentance sister hoyt has said it and i don't have much more to add to that more than to say to god be the glory and he will get the glory from this he will get the glory from our efforts here now just saying good morning to all our friends who have joined in including honorable alvaro maduri canes good morning good morning good morning to you sister jacqueline richardson uh all the way there in georgia uh kashina cornwall I see you. Good morning. You said you're coming. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. You know, just invite all of your friends, everybody. This is not just for the church. It's not just for the body of Christ. It is for every person, every person who is concerned about the way that we're going. It's for everybody. Just come on out and be a part of what we're doing. Let us cry out to the Lord together. Let us do it together. And I do believe that the Lord will here and he will answer our prayers let us continue to put him first put him first and see what he does with us next all right so take care until i come to you again from this same location or from the one next door and just to lift up the name of the lord take care and have a blessed day god bless you